Hello, everyone. Are you ready for this? Workout number seven. Honestly, I don't want to do it. Not because I'm tired, sore, but just because I'm lazy as hell. And I was just watching episode one of A Discovery of Witches, and I love it. And not just because Matthew Good's in it. I mean, that's definitely a perk, though. Hello, Lula, Claudia, Knit Chick, Dimpled Apple, Rachel Fink. Hello, everybody. Claudia, I put laundry away dishes about to vacuum just to avoid this workout. I should have done it earlier, right? That's just how I'm feeling today. But you know what? We're going to rock it out anyways. We're going to prove to ourselves that we can do it. Ready to get this over with? Yes. <laughs> Knit chick, I really wanted just to go to bed, but now my son is excited by it. So he dragged me out to do it. Oh, how cute is that? Tell your son that I said hello. Unless he's watching me, then hello. <laughs> um, Rachel, oh, I'm here because I wouldn't do it on my own. I'm having one of those days. Me too. Like, honestly, if I wasn't doing this live, I would probably skip tonight just because I'm like, I just want to go watch, back to watching A Discovery of Witches. That's all I want to do. I just want to be lazy. <sighs> Dimpled apple. Claudia, you know you're not having it when you choose house chores over it, right? <laughs> Rachel, oh, I'm here because I wouldn't do it on my own. I'm having, oh, no, I already read that one. Claudia, Rachel, I have three excuses not to be here. <laughs> Artessa, hello, Artessa. Knit chick, yeah, I'm really not feeling this. Me either, knit chick. I don't know about you, though. I'm just going to push through. <clears throat> Claudia, only 10 minutes. Let's do it. Yes. Artessa, we can do this. Yes. Jane Lee, I made it. Yay. Yes, you made it. Sierra, about to do it with you. Awesome, Sierra. I'm so glad. Knit Chick, yes, he's watching. We've been doing the countdown for the past 20 minutes. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. And I'm like so honored that he's actually excited. Brenda, I tried to talk myself into the idea that yard work, yard work could be the workout, but then I did it not too long ago. <laughs> awesome job, Brenda. I love it. And really, those are the days that matter, right? When you're not feeling it, but you do it anyways. Claudia, dimple, when I went to vacuum, it's a problem. I'd rather clean bathrooms. I'm actually cleaning the downstairs bathroom. Oh, gosh. Devil dog flea, so I will do this, but man, I hurt so bad. Much needs to move. Much needs to move itself. I did this for three hours today. Ooh, goodness. Well, I'm glad you're going to join us anyway. Artessa, you need to put a reminder of the live workout when you put out a video earlier in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't put out videos every single day, though, so I've just been trying to do... Um, schedule it out a little bit ahead of time. And it says that it sends out a reminder, but I think it only sends a reminder to people that the live is going to happen at like 7 p.m. or 7.15 or whatever. If you also have um, the notification bell all on, otherwise I don't think you get the notifications that it's going to happen. Um, but I do try and schedule it at least an hour out in advance so that people who have their notifications on will get a notification that I'm going to be going live um, Brenda, if it was even 11 minutes, it would have, it wouldn't have happened. Right. <laughs> Knit chick. Thank you. Knit chick son. <laughs> all right. Um, so I know that everybody is like not having it tonight. So let's just get right into it and get it done right with, and for anybody who hasn't been on, um, I've been keeping it on mute just so I don't get a copyright strike again. Even though my copyright strike was released, I just don't want to take any chances. So <sighs> let's do this. Oh, here we go. All right.
Three, two, one, let's go. Have I mentioned I've already sweat and work out today? Ooh, nose is itching. again. Come on. Oh, seriously. I guess I can't <laughs> skip it.
goodness gracious. Two more. Oh gosh. That was rough tonight. I'm just glad it's over. How do you guys feel after that? do put out a video. You got to tell the new people. I know. I just, I forget all of those little things. Still, still new to this. Rachel Fink, let's do this. Yep. <laughs> we did it. And Dashi, you can do this. Thank you. And Dashi, Dayton's grandma, go girl. You got this. Thank you. Dayton's grandma. Kels to chief. Go girl. Thank you. Kels. Stormy, I'm in bed, but I should be asleep by now. Instead, I'm here for the live stream. Oh, thank you, Stormy. Glad you could join. Knit Chick, from now on, I'm MKC07. <laughs> Lula, I should be asleep as well, but woke up 4 a.m. to be ready for the live. Girl, what are you doing up at 4 a.m.? I mean, I know that I'm awesome, but I'm not that awesome. I ain't giving up my sleep for anybody. But thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Artessa, people are doing fireworks in my neighborhood to celebrate our workout success. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> Lula, great work, Laura. Thank you so much, Lula. Jane Lee, whoo, that was my first time doing it. I can definitely feel the burn in my legs, right? It's so awesome, though, that you're joining us. Devin, I'm currently watching this flat on my back because I injured it earlier. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. 
I hope you feel better. But thank you for being here anyways. Dimpled Apple, today I felt more tired than usual. That was yesterday for me. Today I don't feel too tired, but I'm just kind of like, I just didn't want to do it tonight. <laughs> um, see, I just wasn't motivated to do it tonight, but I was dedicated and I got it done. And it appears like a lot of you were feeling the same way, so go us. Um, Knit Chick, it's really time for bed now. Yeah, <laughs> Stormy, I was tired just watching you. <laughs> it's tiring. Artessa, oi, so tired. Good job, everyone. Good job, you guys. Devin, I'll join your next one. Awesome. Love to hear that. Rachel, oh, I'm so grateful you do this live. Well, I'm glad that you guys enjoy it and that it's helpful. Devil, dog flea, like I was hit with the shovel and rake I used today. Ouch. Ew. Claudia, it's over. Yes, Claudia, it's over. And guess what? That was day seven, which means that we are officially halfway done. Rachel, I would love to think I would do this on my own, but I'm not sure I would. You know what? Honestly, if I wasn't doing this live and didn't have this accountability, <laughs> I don't know that I would either. So I feel you. Yali. Hey, Laura. Hey, Yali. Thank you for always being here. Devil dog flea. I agree. You doing this makes me do this. Awesome. Claudia, I got queasy. The jumps did it today. Oh, I hope you feel better, Claudia. Brenda, I felt inordinate, inordinate, oh my gosh, inordinately proud that I did it when I really wasn't motivated. Was the mental or physical harder for you tonight? Um, I'm not really sore or tired, so it was definitely the mental. Like, I just, I wasn't in the mood tonight. Like, I have other things I'd rather be doing, like, I was saying earlier, I started watching A Discovery of Witches tonight, and I interrupted that to come do this. <laughs> but I'm glad that I did because it keeps me accountable, and it's helping to keep other people accountable. So that's awesome. And like you said, I'm, I'm always the most proud on the days when I didn't want to do it, or I didn't feel like doing it, or I was sore or tired or whatever, and I did it anyways. Because it's those days that teach me that I have it in me. So any other day is like a piece of cake. <clears throat> Claudia, everyone that tried tonight, way to go. Yes, way to go. We are halfway done. Devil Dog Flea, welcome to the new people. Absolutely. I'm seeing a lot of new people in here tonight. So that is awesome that you guys are in here. <clears throat> um, Artessa, 4 a.m., that's dedication, right? <laughs> that's some dedication that even I don't have. <laughs> uh, Rachel, I feel like physically I did better with the movement. I feel less like an epileptic goat. <laughs> me too, Rachel, me too. I actually made it through the whole thing without really taking any breaks. I mean, there was a couple of times where I took like, like a one second break. But other than that, I got right through till the end. Claudia way not what <laughs> double dog flea i did mine yesterday at 3 30 a.m that went and walked for hours yesterday i toured jack daniels with my hubby sounds like fun knit chick i fear this will click quickly not be a part of my routine when this 14 day ends well that's why it's called a challenge <laughs> we're just proving to ourselves that we can do it right Although, I don't know, I might actually wind up keeping it in my rotation as like an ab workout, um, especially because I can't do the lying down ones. Um, so I may wind up keeping it. Dimpled apple, for me, the physical was harder. I was pumped to start and after the first exercise, my body was like, nah, nice try. <laughs> That's how I felt the last couple of days. But tonight, I was fine. For the most part, it was just like not wanting to do it. <laughs> Jane Lee, ah, Jane Lee, so awesome to have you do it with. You motivate us. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that this is helping you guys. Artessa, I wouldn't be working out if it wasn't for you guys. Yes, ev it's everyone. You guys are all great. <clears throat> I actually did, um, I had a couple of people say that they wanted to do like a uh, like a once a week 
virtual workout with me. So we did our first one today and it was so nice because that half, that, well, it was more like 35 minutes. Um, walk away the pounds video that we did went by so fast. It was like a blink of an eye. So having workout buddies definitely makes it more fun. Um, Claudia, the heat I ate later. I'm so on it tomorrow. I'm drinking my electrolyte zero sugar water. Awesome. Sarah with an H. Hi, Sarah. We missed you today. I hope that you'll be able to join us sometimes on the weekends to do that um, workout group. But I'm then again, if that is really if that's your time to spend time with your husband, then you do you like you make that happen because that's way more important than me. Just saying. <clears throat> Artessa, motivation versus dedication. You are so right about that, right? <clears throat> Y'all, thank you for these videos. I have been feeling a little down emotionally lately, and I'm not really doing it every day, but I am trying to pull myself together. That's awesome, y'all. And really, it's just every day you do your best. And if it wasn't your best, then the next day you start all over again and you forgive yourself and you move on. I know it's harder said than done, but it's really just kind of how life is really in general, right? Screw up. I mean, <laughs> definitely when you're a therapist, because I swear to goodness, after every session, I'm like, crap, I could have done that better could have done that better. I hope my client shows up next week. They probably hate me now, but I just, and maybe that's how I've gotten better at doing it with my weight loss is because I have to do it so much as a therapist of that. Okay. Yeah. There's things I can learn from that session, but now I move on to the next person and I just do my best in that session and then just so on and so forth. And then the person that I feel like I screwed up with shows up the next week and they didn't even care and they didn't even notice anything was wrong. So just got to learn to move with the punches. Lula, 4 a.m. is normal time for me to wake up, but not on the weekend. Then I wake up at 6. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I want to get to the point where I'm waking up early, but 4 a.m. is way too early for me. But you know what? If it works for you, that's awesome. Um, Brenda, knit chick, you just have to get your son to expect it, right? <laughs> Claudia, I learned to do stuff when I do, when I don't want to, like this workout, my walks, chores, hygiene, even work. Absolutely. Devil dog flea. I am this one in the walk one mile for days. I don't walk outside. I think I'm going to add the arm 21. Awesome. You'll have to let me know how the arm, um, arm told me one is. Sorry. I have hiccups. <clears throat> Um, Jane Lee. Oh my gosh. I love, I love Leslie Sansom walk away the pounds. Hey, we're doing our virtual workout group every Saturday at 2 PM Pacific standard time, girl. So if you want to join me, shoot me a DM. <clears throat> Curvy fit diaries. Hey, Laura. Hey, it's good to see you. Artessa, we need to stretch beforehand, I think, <laughs> right? MB, joining late, what workout group? Um, a couple videos ago, I said, if anybody wanted to be my workout buddy to send me and um, to shoot me a DM on Instagram, and I got a couple. And so we started a workout group Saturdays, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we do it over Google Hangouts. So today we did a walk away the pounds video, and it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Devil Dog Flea, let me let me know when it is and I'll try to get in on it. Oh, I just I just said it. Saturdays to Pacific Standard Time. Um and you can either e or email or DM me. Let's see. Artessa, that is so cool about the group workout you did. We should do a massive Zoom meeting for the ad challenge, right? Oh my goodness. Although I don't have Zoom. I have Google. I can do Google Hangouts, but if somebody else has Zoom, I could join. Um, Sarah, yes, at the moment, I don't see my husband a lot because of work. Yeah, that's why I said, if that's the day that you have to spend time with your husband and your kids, then that is way more important. So, Jane Lee, yeah, Artessa, right, Claudia, I think of chores as getting my steps in, right? <laughs> 
Devil Dog Flea. I looked for last night to watch this morning and I could not find it. Uh oh. It's showing up on my thing that it's on there. It's number six. Claudia. No, she's talking. Devil Dog Flea. I will tell you, but I am sure I will hate my arms, right? <laughs> MB, how do we join you? I'd love to do it. Not on Instagram. Is there another way to do it? Um, you can shoot me an email. My emails are always in the description box of my videos. Um, and just shoot me an email that way. Um, but I think in order to get on Google Hangouts, I feel like you have to have a Gmail address. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but I feel like you have to. <laughs> Rachel, yes, we need to do arms next. Hey, you know what? Okay, we want to do arms next. We can do that. Um, I'm also thinking of doing the 10,000 steps a day challenge because I think it's Joanna So. One of her videos has, like, if you do it, it's like 38, 3,900, and I could just do it a couple times a day. So I'm thinking of doing that one too. Jane Lee, I will send you a DM. I would love to join and have workout buddies. I need all the motivation I can get. Awesome. Shoot me a DM um, with your email and I will join you. But like I said, I, I'm pretty sure you have to have a Gmail. So in order to get on Google Hangouts, <clears throat> our Tessa Zoom, Google Hangouts, same difference. Yeah. Right. Um, Jane Lee. No. Devil Dog Fleet. Okay. I will look again. I will do it again with that one too, but not tonight. Okay. Chain Lee. I love cheesecake. Yes. <laughs> Who's talking about cheesecake? And I missed it. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what I need to have for my birthday. I haven't decided. I mean, it's like five weeks away, but still <laughs> I'm already thinking about my birthday dinner. I'm like, what have I been craving the most that I can have on my birthday? <clears throat> Dimpled apple, I'd be down for steps and arms. Awesome. Sarah, I would love that challenge. The arm challenge? Yeah. Or the 10,000 ouch steps a day challenge. I want to do it. I do 20,000 a day. Good night, Claudia. <laughs> I, I couldn't do 20,000 steps a day um, just because, <laughs> I mean, unless I'm like walking during my therapy sessions. <laughs> Um, dimpled apple. Oh, cheesecake. Yes. Cheesecake. <laughs> I did Laura. I thought of Jan as I saw a keto cheesecake cake, but too much fat. Mm. Knit chick. I made a great chocolate brownie cheesecake a few weeks ago and it's keto too. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds delicious. Mm. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm, mm. <laughs> Jane Lee, I use the Fitbit. Also, we should all add each other on Fitbit. You guys should. That would be awesome for you guys. I don't have a Fitbit, so I can't, but you guys absolutely should. And B, I'm doing the 10,000 steps for a group in Facebook, but I aim for 15. Wow. That is an awesome goal. Sarah with an H, both arm and 10,000 steps. Awesome. So that may just be what I do next is the um, Chloe Teen arms and the 10,000 steps. Claudia, I walk two hours in the evening. To get your 20,000 steps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. Talk about dedication. <laughs> Claudia, girl, <laughs> you, you've got some serious dedication because I don't even know if I'd be dedicated to doing that. <clears throat> MB, yum, keto cheesecake. It does sound good. Artessa, dude, do the 10,000 steps a day. The most I've ever done is 10,000 steps, maybe four times in a week. But I really think trying to hit that 10 step, 10,000 steps regularly will help lose the weight. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, Devil Dog Flea, Dolphina on Fitbit. I do weekly challenges. Awesome. Um, Dimpled Apple, Knit Chick, you're going to have a bunch of unexpected guests at your house after this. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's going to Knit Chick's. For what was it? Chocolate brownie keto cheesecake. I vote yes. <laughs> and you better have one cheesecake for all of us, or at least for me, because I would probably eat the entire thing. <laughs> um, Artessa walking works out everything. It does. 
Sarah with an H, I do two hours of walking in the morning. You guys, that is so much walking. <laughs> um, Jane Lee, just thinking about 20,000 steps makes me weak. Ha ha. Right. I'm just feeling overwhelmed thinking about 10,000 steps a day. MB Stevens, your trigger videos are really timely and helping. I've been snack crazy the last few days with the cold weather coming in suddenly, right? And I actually am thinking about doing a video because last week I had a training and one of the skills that they taught us, I tried it out yesterday when I was having some serious binge cravings, um, just like in the moment. And it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then I tried it out tonight when I wasn't feeling like working out and it got me off my butt. I mean, you guys got me off my butt too, but it definitely like snapped me out of it. And I was like, huh, I might just have to share this because it's, it is a great skill. <clears throat> Knit chick. If I set up a treadmill in front of your computer, you can walk all day long. Yes. I love that idea. Can we make that happen? Artessa, can we add people on Fitbit? I clearly don't use that app to its potential. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a Fitbit. So, <laughs> Claudia, this workout adds steps, my chores, and my movements during the day. The end of the evening takes me over 20,000 to 24K. Wow, girl. Here, like, let me go, Claudia. I'm super impressed. Um, Devil Dog Flea. So Knit Chick, Devil Dog Flea wants the recipe. <laughs> Artessa, Claudia, 20,000 steps. That's amazing, right? Goodness. Brenda, this workout adds steps. I wasn't convinced when I glanced but didn't confirm. Sure hope so. I mean, it does. <clears throat> it's a different kind of step, but it's kind of like the walk away to pounds. Like, not all of the steps are just you marching in place, but it still steps. <clears throat> Claudia, and I'm still fluffy, means you can't work out Zumba or run an eating plan. I got to get this fat burned, right? <laughs> Sarah, Claudia, can I add you on my Fitbit? Okay, you guys are talking. Um, Knit Chick, it's up in the feed. You skipped over it, but it's there. The recipe? Claudia, yes, sir. I will add you. You will see my numbers and Fitbit. Man, now I'm feeling like I need to get a Fitbit. Goodness gracious. But those suckers are expensive, and I just don't got that kind of money at the moment. I'm paying off student loans. <laughs> okay, why is there Korean subtitles on my TV for Minecraft Live? Oh, that's weird. Okay. <clears throat> Artessa, thanks. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. MB, I don't have the money for a Fitbit right now either, right? <laughs> you should get a Fitbit on Black Friday. They always have great deals then. Yeah, that's a good idea. That actually is a really good idea. Thanks, Sarah. Look on buy, sell, or trade sites for a cheap used Fitbit. People sell them often. Hmm. Okay. Artessa, how do you add people on? I have no idea. Get a Fitbit. <laughs> Maybe sometime in the future. Or I'm sure that my mom's going to be texting me at some point within the next couple of weeks with, what do you want for your birthday? And maybe I'll just be like, Fitbit. <laughs> Isn't, is that weird that I'm turning 31 and my mother still buys me birthday presents? I don't know. <sighs> Devil Dog Flea. It is what comes after the video we did Minecraft. How does that work out? I don't know. It just like popped up. It was like a Minecraft Minecraft live video, but it had Korean subtitles on the bottom. <laughs> it was weird. Um, Claudia, Laura, I got my Fitbit last December. My coworker had a coupon, got it for $40. Otherwise, no way. She didn't want me to pay her the tax she bought too. Awesome. I'm definitely going to have to think about that for Black Friday. Brenda, my kid, gave me a Fitbit. That was cool. I bought a new band for it, but it was cheap. Awesome. And B, moms always buy birthday gifts. It's forever. Oh, good. So it's not just me. <laughs> my mom also does um, themed birthday parties, even to this day. Like, my brother just turned 25, right? Not 20. Yeah, 25. 
and <laughs> his theme was Harry Potter. And part of me is like, I'm turning 31, so you don't really theme it. Like, it, it, it's not necessary. But then the other part of me is just like, I, I love it because it's just kind of part of her charm. She just enjoys going the extra mile and making it different. So, I don't know. I love my mom. She's a sweetie. <clears throat> Artessa Fitbit app is free. I only use the free stuff. I really only use Fitbit to track my steps and look up calories sometimes. Oh, my thumb. Okay. Stormy, I'm 40 and family still buy me birthday presents. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> Claudia, I'm 46. My mom gets me a card every year. My oldest brother's 54. He gets one too. Okay. <laughs> Dimpled apple birthdays are my jam. <laughs> Artessa, I don't know what this money Fitbit thing is you're talking about. <laughs> so you, I guess you could just do like a, the Fitbit app and just put in your workouts. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Um, Jay and Lee, click on your username and there's a button that says add friends. Okay. MB, lost your sound. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. So it's just MB. Okay. I was like, my, the reason I'm asking is because my computer does some really weird things sometimes and I'll get like this audio renderer error. And so I just wanted to make sure it was still working. Sorry, MB. Um, they bought, Brenda, they bought you a bowl. Oh, they brought you a bowl across the country. Good night. Do you have a farm? I watched them castrate a bull once and hmm, I almost went vegan. <clears throat> Claudia, wait, I'm 45. I hope your brother is doing well. He's, um, it's off and on his, he, every other week he goes in to have his infusion and those are his worst weeks. Um, like he just gets really like nauseous and he can barely eat and you know, he's really super weak, but on the weeks that he's not doing his infusions, he's okay. And he's almost normal. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's a trooper and he only has a couple more infusions and then hopefully he'll be done. I think he's supposed to be done by end of December or November, right before his birthday. Brenda, yes, really. Ooh, <laughs> that is awesome. Dimpled apple, theme it. Theme my birthday? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if my mom wants to theme my birthday, then that's just, that's fine with me. <clears throat> and I would totally be cool with even a Harry Potter theme because I love Harry Potter. I am a 30-year-old child. What can I say? Brenda, I told my kids that once they turn 30, they should be giving me gifts. It hasn't really worked. <laughs> oh, gosh. Artessa, your mom sounds awesome. Appreciate it. My family forgets my birthday most of the time. Oh, I'm sorry, Artessa. That sucks. Hmm. MB, I'm sorry, MB. Oh, you got it back. Oh, good meaning me gifts on their birthday, like gratitude, right? My mom has said that too. She's been like that. In fact, um, she likes to, if I'm not there with her at the time I was born, um, she will shoot me a text like, happy birthday. What did you get me? <laughs> um, Jane Lee, do you have a post office box? I have been going back and forth on getting a post office box. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just being paranoid, but I mean, I live in a, a smallish rural city. I mean, I feel like it's too big to be a town. Um, but I don't know, just the idea that some people like might look for me just kind of, I don't want to say scares me, but it just, it's a concern. Um, so I don't know. I, I've thought about about an hour away. Um, actually, it's more like an hour and a half. But my best friend lives in another city. And I was thinking about getting a P.O. box where she lives and then just going and checking it every couple of weeks. Um, and that would give me a reason to go see her and her kids more often. 
Um, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm probably just being paranoid. <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> um, Stormy, ignore my previous. Okay. Dimpled Apple, I mean, you are the reason they get to celebrate birthdays. So, right? Brenda, we need... We needed the bull for cows when we have boy calves. I am the one who castrates them. People don't mess with me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I ain't messing with you, Brenda. Mm -mm. Um, Claudia, from experience, my own family member, I know it's a roller coaster ride. He gets his normal back soon. I hope so. They've been talking about him doing radiation. Um, his case is actually so unique that Washington State University, which um, is like really, it's nationally recognized for their cancer research, has actually been going over his case. And they have been recommending him to do uh, radiation afterwards. But I don't know if he's going to go through with it. I, I don't know. Dimpled Apple. Yes, Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, then I am a 35-year-old child. I love Harry Potter. Yes. <laughs> Harry Potter for life. <laughs> um, speaking of which, who who did you, those of you who like Harry Potter, who did you want Harry to be with? Because for me, it wasn't Ginny. <laughs> I, 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 I liked the Harry and Hermione combo. I'm, or Harry with Luna. I loved Luna because she was kind of like Harry's therapist and she was always just there in those dark moments for him just to kind of lift him up and make him laugh and smile. And I just, I love Luna and I just thought she would be great for Harry. Brenda, one of my kids was 10 pounds and I was still nice, still nice to him. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have been nice after that. <laughs> Artessa, I know this is controversial, but does your brother use mar medical marijuana in any way? People are scared of the stigma, but are missing out on a true aid for those who are actually sick. Research into it. Um, that's just not something he would ever do because it's just kind of against his religious beliefs. So, no, he doesn't use medical marijuana. And he doesn't really have a lot of pain from what I understand. It's more just like extreme fatigue and tiredness and nausea and things like that. Um, but yeah, he, he would never do marijuana. Um, Claudia, we need a Harry Potter meet and greet when you hit your halfway goal. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> yes. Virtual themed Harry Potter workout party. That would be so cool. Dimpled Apple. Claudia, I second that motion. <laughs> you guys will have to remind me. Oh, my goodness. Brenda, my husband is a two-time cancer survivor, age 20 and 35. He said next time, God forbid, he would be asking for medical marijuana. Hey, you know what? If it works. <clears throat> Devil Dog Flea, I rewatched some movies. Mm -hmm. Dimpled Apple, I wanted him to be with Luna. Right? Right? I love Harry and Luna. Oh my goodness. It was either Hermione or Luna. That's who I, as the kids say, shipped him with. <laughs> Double dog flea. Jenny suits him. I don't know. I just, I didn't really like Jenny. Um, and maybe just because I read the books first and I just didn't feel like her character was really fleshed out enough for me. Um, and she kind of annoyed me at times. So that's probably why I didn't like them together, but I don't know. I Like I said, I just like Hermione and Luna. I think they were a good fit. Sarah with Luna. I love Luna. Yes, Sarah. Yes. <laughs> Nit chick. Now, nah, Harry and Hermione were more like brother and sister. I do like him with Jenny. Awesome. I This is not my vibe. <clears throat> And I don't know. I didn't like Hermione with Ron either, just because ugh, Ron just annoyed me. I mean, he made me laugh, but he annoyed me. <laughs> I'm okay with him and Jenny. I knew from the second film. Ah, where'd it go? Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, I'm okay with him and Jenny. I knew from the second film when he saves her. I mean, yeah, I, I knew that he was going to wind up with her. 
Um, just like I knew Hermione was going to wind up with Ron, but I just didn't like Jenny. That's just me. Stormy, which Hogwarts house are you in? Assuming you've done the sorting with, okay. I'm Ravenclaw. <clears throat> Knit chick, my son says good night. Good night, Knit chick son. <laughs> Thank you for working out with me. Lula, Red Moon, Luna. Yes. I do like Hermione with Ron. I don't know. I just never felt like Hermione would be happy long term with Ron. I, I don't know. Just me. <clears throat> Dimpled Apple. Good night, Knit Chick Jr. <laughs> ah, it keeps bumping up. Claudia, Ron, and Hermione had to be together, and Luna is perfect with something bottom, long bottom, <laughs> something bottom. Neville, long bottom. I love Neville. Uh, yeah, I mean, I get for, like, the story, like, the plot and everything that Ron and Hermione had to be together. Um, yeah. I, it's just it's just not my favorite. Dimpled Apple, I listen to the audiobooks every year. Going to start, me too. Every year around this time, I start listening to them. And normally I would listen when I was driving to and from work, um, but I'm not driving to work much anymore. So I'm going to have to figure out a different time to do it. <laughs> but I absolutely love the guy who narrates. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Artessa, that is a very interesting insight into Luna Therapist Mind, I guess, right? I always thought Luna was like their therapist. Devil dog flea. Okay, wonderful people. I start working again Monday and have to get up at 3 a.m. So off to shower and then to bed. Good night, devil dog flea. <clears throat> Knit chick. All Ravenclaw here. Yep. <clears throat> Oops, come on. MB, tomorrow is my biggest walk up and down some major hills once a week with two driven friends. Good night. Good night, MB. Good luck on your walk tomorrow. You got this. Devil Dog Fleet. I did too, but they made different in the movies. Yep. Brenda, I only said that castrating thing to be cool. It is actually easy when a bull ram is only days old, not painful and not bloody. I learned it all on the internet, like knitting and workouts. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I just, yeah, I saw some bulls castrated and <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> <clears throat> Our test said that sucks about the religion and medical marijuana thing. My daddy is a pastor too. So I understand the mindset. It helps with nausea. Seriously, watch some people's personal experience with it. Okay. Our test said then form your opinion. I don't really have an opinion on medical marijuana. Um, if, if it's been um, prescribed, then I, I don't really have a, a ugh. I don't personally have an opinion on medical marijuana in general. Um, and I know that it can be really useful, especially for people who have like terminal illnesses and I don't want them to spend the rest of their life in pain. Um, but I just, like I said, it's just a, a religious thing. And so he, that's just not something that he would ever do. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> Jane Lee, I have a confession. I have never watched Harry Potter. What? Okay, I can forgive that if you've read Harry Potter. Uh, have you have you read it? <laughs> um, Sarah, I am a Ravenclaw too. Go Ravenclaws! Yes, Neville and Luna, they're cute. I mean, they're cute. <laughs> Lula, I'm also Ravenclaw. Awesome. Uh, Knit chick. I'm not so into Potter more thing, but I've taken various other sortings. I play a HP themed knitting game online. Oh, cool. Jim Dale for the win. That's his name. I love Jim, Jim Dale. He's awesome. Claudia, we can debate about this forever. Hermione is best friend, non-sexual way with Harry. Even his kids, he was more kind to her than Ron. <laughs> I'm not debating. I, I just, I don't know. I just liked Harry. Um, Harry more for her than I did Ron. And it wasn't necessarily like, um, yeah, I don't know. But then again, like I said, I would prefer Harry and Luna. So I'm, I'm not debating. I think we all have our, our biases, our ships that we go for, go for. <clears throat> 
Brenda, my husband and I have similar religious beliefs, probably, but this is a whole different thing. The chemicals are so toxic that sometimes the rule changed. He has been cancer free for now for 25 plus years. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so glad to hear it. Claudia, I might be Hufflepuff due to the puffiness. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Jane Lee, I haven't read or watched it. I'm not oh. Okay. You you need to get uh, I oh, hmm. <laughs> you need to get the Jim Dale audiobooks and listen to them. And I swear you will fall in love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sarah, Claudia, sent Hufflepuffs are amazing. Yes, they are. My brother's a Hufflepuff. My brother who has cancer is actually a Slytherin. And then my other brother is Gryffindor. So... <laughs> Oh, Clyde, I meant we can talk about it all night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Claudia, I need to take the quiz. You do, Claudia. My husband is a Hufflepuff. My son is Ravenclaw. Awesome. Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Gryffindors. I am so lost. Oh, that makes me so sad, Jane Lee. You, you need to read it. Ugh. If you do anything, read or watch the movies, read them. They are so much better because there's so much more detail that they could not go into in the movies. Actually, wait. Yeah. <clears throat> Net chick. See, the books are so much richer in content than the movies and the audios are a great way to consume them. Yes, 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 yes. Claudia, I'm probably a Slytherin as I don't like people. <laughs> oh, gosh. And a smartass. <laughs> Artessa, I thought the Jenny thing came out of nowhere when I read the books as a kid, but I'd have to reread re them with my adult brain. It did. For me, it was like one second he was just like, oh, Jenny, my best friend's little sister. And then next second, oh, my gosh, it's Jenny. <laughs> I'm totally in love with her. And I was like, eh. but again, that's just me in my opinion. <clears throat> Jan and Brenda come join us on the Potter side. Yes, 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 yes. Going to put it on my to-do list. Yep. Please do. And then after you read it, let me know. Brenda, I don't know why, but I'm grinning from ear to ear. I hope that it's like an endorphin. You guys are so cute. Aw, thanks, Brenda. Claudia, keeping it real, right? <laughs> Honestly, I was shocked that I wasn't a Slytherin when I took the test because mm, I can get annoyed with people sometimes, and I can definitely be a smart ass. <laughs> Jane Lee, I am on it. Haha, -ha, I feel left out. Yes. <laughs> um. I read part of the first one. I argued one night with a six-year-old on how to pronounce Hermione. <laughs> I can't even remember how I said it when I first read it. I was like 11. I think I when I first started reading it, it was like Hermione or Hermione. I don't remember how I... Hermione? I don't remember. <laughs> but I definitely didn't pronounce it well. Nitchick, well, Jenny was always in love with him from the first moment she saw him the first year, but it took Harry quite a while to catch on and catch up. Yep, it did. It did. Artessa, I know how to answer those Harry Potter quizzes, so I know how to get into a certain house, so my quizzes are always biased. <laughs> That's awesome. We took it as a family, and it was pretty fun. I feel like my grandma was Ravenclaw. My next younger brother was a Hufflepuff. Bro um, brother under that who was Slytherin. Youngest brother was a Gryffindor. I feel like my mom was a Hufflepuff and my stepdad was a Ravenclaw. Yeah. We just did it for fun as a family one night. Claudia, Laura, you have that bubbly personality. My friends will tell that I'm not as mean as I come across. I'm actually fun. <laughs> Claudia, you seem fun, so I would never think that you were a Slytherin, so... <clears throat> Nitchick, Hermione. Yeah, it was something weird. 
Claudia, I was so happy I said it right. Yeah. <laughs> Brenda, I wonder how many kids got named Hermione after that first book was published, right? I actually thought if I ever had a daughter of naming her Hermione, <laughs> but my mother would probably like never speak to her. I'm just kidding. Like my mom would never do that. <laughs> Brenda, my mom used to be a baby nurse and filled out birth certificates. I should ask her about Hermione. You should. That's funny. Ooh, goodness. All right. If I had Sarah, if I have a daughter, I would call her Luna. That's a really pretty name too. And I love that it means moon. So that's another good one. Claudia, that's because I'm behind a screen. I let the fun wall down after I get to know someone. <laughs> Love it. And I, honestly, Claudia, I feel like some people would say the same about me. I know that it probably doesn't seem like it, but I'm kind of like, when it comes to like introvertedness and extrovertedness, I'm kind of like right in the middle. And I tend to swing more to, towards introvert until I like get comfortable and then I become a lot more extroverted. Um, so I'm kind of the exact same way. <laughs> Otherwise I just kind of have this like resting bitch face. <laughs> um, so away from Harry Potter had a great non-scale victory yesterday. Ooh, what was it? Knit chick stormy. My mom is a Ravenclaw. My sister is a Slytherin. I'm officially a Hufflepuff. When my sister and I attended the Cursed Child premiere, I was in a pale yellow shirt and my sister was in green. That's awesome. My brother, who is a Hufflepuff, so he's 25, he is the only one in my family who has ever read the books and understands. Like, the rest of my family is like, what the heck are you guys talking about? And it makes me sad. <laughs> um knit chick. I looked in the mirror and realized that my stomach is deflating. That is amazing, knit chick. Congrats. <clears throat> Claudia, I'm a true introvert, but being from a large family, I had to learn to speak, speak up for myself, and learn to socialize, so learned extrovertedness. Exactly, right? I feel like I'm the same way. Like, I... <sighs> Being social and being around people for me is like so exhausting. Um, like most of the times I come home after work and I'm just like, nobody talk to me. <laughs> I, I need to recharge. Um, yeah, so I, I'm definitely the same way. I had to learn how to be more extroverted. And I feel like it wasn't just like my family having to learn it with them. But then when I went into the mental health field and became a social worker, I definitely had to learn how to be more extroverted, how to be more extroverted. So I, I'm totally there with you, Claudia. <clears throat> Sarah, I'm an extrovert, but I am always afraid to say right things wrong in English. English is my third language. Wow. What are your other languages, Sarah? Brenda, knit chick, wonderful. Yes. Jane Lee, congrats on the non-scale victory. I feel like I had one also. I know this sounds crazy, but my seat belt fits differently to the point of continuously checking it to make sure I have it on. Um, yes, that is awesome. Dimpled apple, that's really cool, Sarah. Yep. <clears throat> Lula, English is my third language as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Got a lot of, I guess it's not bilingual. Would it be multilingual people up in here? Sarah, I had a non skill victory yesterday. I put on my mini skirt and it fit. Oh my gosh. Congrats, Sarah. <clears throat> Claudia, my friends and family don't believe I'm shy. I don't come, come across that way, but inside I'm dying. That's why I'm so aw in awe of people that can put themselves out here on YouTube. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't think I'm that much of an introvert, um, but I definitely hear you on just like, being overwhelmed by social situations. So <laughs> Sarah, German is my first language and Spanish my second. Oh my goodness. That's amazing, Sarah. <clears throat> Dimpled apple. Ain't that the case, Jane? Got a, got a double and triple check before doing a happy dance, right? <laughs> 
Stormy, trilingual. There you go. Brenda, introvert. Yes, about the exhausting people thing. I like caning with little people who I can put to bed. I stay up late like now to get all, over all the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, good. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. What was it? <coughs> okay. Sorry, I keep getting this like weird pop up message from YouTube that's just weird, but. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> hashtag mini skirt. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Um, so it is, it's been an hour um, and I need to finish editing my weigh in video for tomorrow. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm out of the three fifties, by the way. Awesome. Um, and then I'm going to watch more of A Discovery of Witches because I'm actually really loving this show. So I'm going to say goodnight, y'all. Uh, Jay and Lee, so much fun talking with you all. I'm going to wind down and get ready for bed. Yes, me too, Jay and Lee. Good night, Stormy. I feel the general makeup of this chat is introverted Ravenclaws, right? Right? Dimpled Apple, woohoo. Knit Chick, congrats, Laura. Thank you. Claudia, fun night. Congrats, Laura. So proud of you. Thank you so much, Claudia. Jane Lee, woot woot. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Sarah. I love these nights with you all. Yes, me too. It's fun. Even if we're even if we're debating Harry Potter, like Artessa Drendor, I can never be a therapist. You're awesome, Laura. It's it's rough. Oh, let me just tell you that. It's 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 <laughs> It's a, it's a different type of life, but I'm, I'm enjoying it and I'm really enjoying working with my clients and seeing them make some changes. So it's fun. Brenda. Yeah. Hopefully non-scale victories too. Good night and all. I have 10 non-scale victories, I believe. So Claudia off to walk with Leslie needs 6,000 more steps. Good luck, Claudia. Thank you for joining Lula. Good night, Lula. Bye. <laughs> Jenny and Harry forever. You know what? Different strokes for different folks. And I totally respect your, I don't even know what their ship name would be. Harini? Henny? Hanny? I don't know. I don't know what their ship name is. Jane Lee, gonna tell my hubby I finally watched Harry Potter. Ha ha, he will be thrilled. Awesome. <laughs> Again, once you read those books, you have to let me know, okay? I just, I I honestly, it's one of those books that I wish that I could just forget everything about it so that I could reread them again and just relive that magic because it's amazing. Especially when you do the Jim Dale audiobooks. Oh, fantabulous. Knit Chick, good night. Artessa, woohoo. Good job, Laura. Bye, 350s. Yes, 350s are gone forever. Hanny, yes. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Actually, tomorrow it won't be um, this late because I go to my family's on Sunday. So it'll probably be sometime between like, I don't know, probably between like 3 and 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Because I usually go over there sometime between like 4 and 5.30. Just depends. Good night, everyone.